Hey guys, happy Tuesday. So today um, I have a doctor's appointment at two o'clock and I'm going to be getting the thyroid biopsy, which is the fine needle aspiration. And I'm not too happy to be getting this done. I'm never hesitant about going to the doctors, but I just really, I'm not feeling this and I just don't want to do it but I know that I have to do it because they said I have a goiter but um, yeah I got to do it I've known since September when I actually had the ultrasound which was the first week of September I had the ultrasound the second week of September I knew that I had to have the biopsy done and um, so from what the my medical records say is I guess they're going to stick me in three different spots in my thyroid and take samples and then in a week they'll let me know what the results are which I'm not. I'm not afraid of what the results are going to be. I'm just trusting in God and believing that everything's going to be okay. I just hate the fact that um, I have to have it done. But yeah, I have to have that done today. And um, it's been four days today, I think, since Bella's been gone and it's been really, really hard since she's been gone. And since I've given her away to her new family and not to say anything negative against the family that I gave her to, they're nice people. Um, I know them personally, but um, I just feel like I made a big mistake and me giving Bella away was the biggest mistake I have made. Like, I miss my dog, like, terribly crazy. Like, today was the first day I went into her playroom since she's been gone. And it's just been really, really hard. Like, I can't believe, like, I gave my dog away. Like, what was I thinking? And I know that in the beginning, I was trying to look out for her best interests and and give her to a family where I felt like she would get more attention. But <clears throat> I think about now, since she's been gone, I think about how, okay, 
they're gone for at least eight hours out of the day and she's in her kennel locked up until they get back and then um they do have another dog though for her to play with and and then she has a daughter but i was thinking like when i woke up saturday morning because i i routinely just wake up so i can go and take her outside and when i woke up it was like that shock factor like did you just give bella away and i just instantly went into depression and i think i've been depressed since she's been gone but it's like the more and more i sat and i thought about it i i think about how you know bella she's a a loving dog she'll go with anybody you know she's been dropped off by me before plenty of times i've had to drop her off at doctor's appointments i've had to drop her off at the groomers and she's been gone for hours before they would call me to pick her back up but the thing is bella always knew that i was coming back to get her and that i have not come back to get her i feel like i have abandoned her even though i know that I felt like I was doing it for her best interest. I just really feel like I abandoned her and and that's the hardest part for me because you you can't miss something that you don't have. Only thing Bella ever wanted was just to be up under me and which whenever I was home that was how it was. But I think me listening to her cry all the time when when I would have to put her in the playroom when I left, that was hard for me and I felt like I was doing something wrong. But whenever I came back home, I'd find her either in her kennel or in her in her playhouse, just laying just laying around sleeping or whatever. Um, so yeah, I just I feel like I I made the wrong choice, I made the wrong decision, and I regret I regret giving her away. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd start this vlog differently. You guys caught me outside, which that was a clip from, from yesterday. I thought I was going to, um, vlog more yesterday, but I didn't. So I just started it differently. I, I don't want to always do the same thing on my vlogs, either starting in the car or, you know, same stuff. So I thought I'd switch it up just a little bit, but um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, getting this done. I was thinking about going to a movie when I'm done, but I don't know how I'm going to be feeling. I don't really know anything really about this procedure. I've looked at um, a few videos on YouTube, which probably wasn't the best thing for me to do because I think it just made me more fearful to do it but um i will let you guys know um how the experience is because regardless to whether people tell you on their videos don't watch don't watch the biopsy videos people still just genuinely want to know and i will give my honest opinion about the biopsy when I walk out of there today so I will keep you posted on that and yeah I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit I'm just sitting here chilling on the steps waiting for my hair to mold before I finish it and then I'm gonna run to the bank and then go over to the main hospital so I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi guys, so I'm all done with my biopsy and I had to wait to get home before I could record because I tried recording in the car and for some strange reason the sun was kind of blocking so it was making me look dark in the screen and you couldn't see me so I just had to wait until I got home. But anywho, um, they had to get fluid from both sides of my thyroid. I got two band-aids. This side didn't hurt at all. But this side, it was almost like it felt like when he did like the bottom lower half, like right over here, because you get stuck, I believe, three times for each nodule. And so when he got on this side, 
it felt like when he stuck the needle in almost as if I was having a toothache because I could feel it in my mouth. I could feel like he hit a nerve or something, but I was trying to be real calm because the fact that there's a needle in my throat, it's like I didn't want to make any sudden moves or anything. So I just clenched down on my teeth and just had to had to bear it and tolerate it. It's like once you get numb, which they say is the, the worst part is when they numb you because they say it's a stick and burn. It actually wasn't that bad none of it actually was bad like this side wasn't bad at all but for some strange reason i knew when he got on this side that i was going to feel it more than i felt it on this side and that really was how it how it felt like i could feel more pressure and just discomfort on this side but the procedure it wasn't that bad i think my anxiety made me stress a little bit more because the fact of a needle going in your throat it doesn't that's not something that you do every day and it just it was kind of scary for me and I actually took a hand on this one the nurse was like you want you want to hold my hand and I was like yeah because I was I was nervous my blood pressure was up and I have good blood pressure and um I, I was just trying to stay calm throughout the whole thing there was no need to panic because I felt like if if i panicked or freaked out then it was just gonna it was just gonna make it longer and more drawn out and i just sat there through it all even even with the discomfort on this side i just like i said i just clenched down on my teeth when i started to feel like i was having a toothache in my mouth and i just clenched down and that was it the procedure took about five minutes on this side five minutes on this side um they gave me this ice pack right here in which I will probably make my own ice pack and then they gave me some take-home instructions they said if my voice just so happens to change or if I get a sore throat or feeling just any type of discomfort worse than normal which she said I shouldn't I shouldn't feel that much that much uncomfortable so she said if anything happens go to emergency tell them you had a, a thyroid biopsy and um that was pretty much it there's no preparation for this procedure so you don't have to fast or anything the day before you just go in and do the procedure if you're gonna have it um on a scale of one to ten of how bad it was and ten being ten being the worst <clears throat> i will say that it was a four and it wasn't that bad so if any of you guys out there you have to have a thyroid biopsy don't freak out about it because it's not that bad. It really isn't. It's not that bad at all. But like I said, it's just that this side over here was worse than this side. And actually this side didn't hurt at all. And it was just this side once he stuck the needle for the third time on the lower half. It it just, it, like I said, it felt like he hit a nerve or something because it went straight into my mouth like I was having a toothache but other than that it wasn't bad um I should get my results in three days and I'll be able to call the doctors or either they'll call me with the results but I think it will post to my charts and I'll be able to look it up myself and basically that's it so if you guys have any questions um or any concerns just um hit me up in the comment section you guys know i'm faithful to answer you guys' questions so that's going to be it for this video you guys take care and i will see you on another video real soon bye